it and wrap it up. With those words, the onstage portion of the production is over. The lights are dimmed, the set is struck, and the crews will leave. However, in a sense, this is not an end, but a beginning. For now, we must weld the efforts of long hours on stage into a cohesive unit. By selection and juxtaposition, we must synthesize the very best. Now begins the vital function of editing. CMX Systems introduces a new era in television production, the CMX 600 Video Editor. You're looking at the control console of a revolutionary new television post-production editing system, a computer-controlled random access memory editor designed to provide the widest possible latitude and flexibility during the creative decision-making process of editing videotape. During the next few minutes, you will see how this remarkable system brings unheard of precision and flexibility to television production. At the conclusion of the on-stage photography, all the scenes have been recorded magnetically on videotape, such as you see here. CMX NAB demo master shot, take one. From this point, using one television camera on stage, an entire scene is recorded from a single viewpoint. This is called a master shot and includes all the significant action in the scene. One, two, three, four, one, two. action is then repeated, and inserts and close-ups are recorded from different camera positions as required. CMX NAB demo close-up clarinet solo C9 take three. Demo close-up drum solo C11, take one. The good takes of each scene are electronically transferred to the heart of the CNX system, the disk pack memories. Once this transfer is made, the expensive videotape recording machines are immediately released and the original videotape can be safely stored in its uncut, undamaged form. The CMX 600 console is designed to free the editor of all mechanical and non-creative distractions as he works. There is no handling of film or tape, no rewinds to turn, and no machine noise. The console will be located remotely in an ideal creative environment, and the only sounds the editor will hear are those recorded during stage production. Let's watch the editor at work as he edits a short sequence. The light pen you see here is the way the editor talks to the system. By merely pointing it at a cue word on the monitor, System 600 will instantly respond. This scene list or menu identifies for the editor what scenes and takes he has previously selected and stored in the disk pack memory. He is free to call up whatever scene he wishes to see and in any order he pleases. The first frame of the selected scene appears, together with the play menu superimposed. By using the light pen and this menu, the editor maintains complete control of the scene. Uh, okay. CMX NAD 
uh, demos. Close up. The vibe. Scene three. Take one. Here we go. Fast, slow, normal, single frame advance, or still frame. The editor has all of these at his instant command. Here we see the editor selecting an in cue, the point at which he wishes to make a splice. After stopping the scene, he can move forward or backward any number of frames until he is satisfied with his entrance point. The editor makes his decision, selects the edit menu, and points the light pen at the cue splice. The system electronically splices the take to whatever is displayed on the left monitor. In this instance, black leader, since this is the first scene. By returning to the play menu, the editor now selects his scene exit point. The editor returns to the scene list and selects an incoming scene. MXNAB demo, close up, piano solo, scene five, take one. You will note that the left hand monitor displays the outgoing scene, while the right hand monitor displays the incoming scene. This enables the editor to see both the in and out points of the splice simultaneously. After making the splice, the editor may play through the splice or continue editing. In this case, the editor will continue. Close up, bass solo, scene four, take two. not restricted to simple splices. By requesting the edit menu with a light pen, he may edit video only or audio only, either frame by frame or an entire scene as required. By using the dissolve and special cues, the editor may add dissolves, wipes, and special effects of any selected length. In addition, he may re-splice, that is, open up any previously made splice and change either the entrance and exit points or both. By choosing insert, he may add a new scene at a splice or any other place within a given scene. By using the delete cue, he can erase a previously edited scene entirely. At any point in the editing process, the editor may call for the splice list. The system will then display a complete list of the splices that have been made so far together with their scene numbers and length. Using this list, the editor may at any time call for a playback of any or all the cuts made during the editing process.
If the editor is not completely satisfied with the sequence, he may return to the edit menu and immediately make any change desired. With the CMX system, the editor continues working in this manner until the entire project is completed. The computer will remember every splice and effect the editor makes, and of course, there is no limit to the number of cuts that can be made. When the editor is finished, the system prints out a record of the editing decisions that will be used to control the final assembly of the production. This assembly is made automatically using the original quadruplexed videotapes. <laughs>